is going on everybody welcome back out on the water uh, thank you for tuning in if you guys are new to this channel uh, you are watching outdoors with creed i am out here again on lake noel uh, today we're going to go over some of the things that we got in our monster bass box from last month july's box uh, one of the best things about monster bass if you guys don't already know just because you get the box and the lures and stuff that come for that month does not mean that they only work in that month. That you can use these whenever the conditions are right. So it's just that they're being introduced during that time frame. Uh, but like I said, this is Outdoors with Free. If you are new to this channel, uh, please go ahead and drop down, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notified every time I make a video. If you like the videos, please comment on them, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Uh, smash the like button if you like them and also please share these videos with your friends because uh, that's what's going to help my channel grow uh, I'm still trying to move on to do bigger things but I need your guys help and support so if you could share the video subscribe and that'll help us really get this thing moving in the direction that I would like for it to go uh, with all that being said without further ado we're going to move on down to uh, to a spot where we're going to try to get some fish. Uh, I'm going to try to flip some grass and some docks and see what we can't get to get some magic happening. So you guys stay tuned and uh, we'll be back for more. two packs of plastic so that's what I'm going to be throwing uh, I think I'm going to try this Z-Man Hula Crawl uh, green pumpkin color and the technique that was featured for uh, last month was the Tokyo Rig uh, Monster Bass has introduced their own monster or their own uh, Tokyo rig setup uh, that I have right here. I've already got some of these pre set up. Um, but the Tokyo rig is another uh, plastic presentation, a little something different. Uh, you fish these anywhere you would fish your traditional Texas rig and in fact when you do actually rig it you are going to rig it Texas rig but the way it's set up with where the weight is in relation to your your hook is a bit of a different setup and so I think in my last video, I basically said it was like a mini uh, drop shot setup, except you have a bigger weight size and bigger profile setup. So I, I called it like a drop shot on crack. But this is basically what you have right here. You have the weight that's underneath the bait the bait is suspended up above it. Um, this one I have on my Texas rig set up with fluorocarbon. I believe it was 17 pound fluorocarbon. And you, you basically fish this just like you would uh, your traditional Texas rig. Um, we've had some really harsh weather uh, the last few days. I have not been able to get out. To do anything because it has been so hot like triple digit heat is what we've had here in this state of Arkansas so it was it's been kind of hot to get out and do stuff uh, even today it's kind of hot uh, water temp is in the 80s 
the high 80s, 89, so we're almost at 90 degree water temp. But I'm just pitching this around some stuff. Uh, right now I've got this grass here in front of me that I'm pitching it around. So hoping that maybe there's some fish that are in that. Whoa. With this setup, you can cast it. That is no problem. You can throw this one out. This water's come down a little bit. As I look over here in front of me, you can see the shoreline where the water used to come up to. Water's come down quite a bit.
now as this current is continuing to push me into this grass which is fine this is where I was wanting to go I'm just slowly working this lure here hopping it along the bottom Some little ones. Those are some, some brim. Okay, so now that I've made my way back here, okay, I'm going to switch things up a bit. Still fishing the same technique. I am going to switch up the bait and get one of these uh, Gary Yamamoto's uh, flapping hogs. Now this one is set up on my, my flipping setup. Again, same hook, same weight, everything's the same, except this setup, I'm fishing a uh, braid, which you know is because I'm back here in this thick grass. And you know, if you set the hook on a fish in this grass, you'd want that braid to to cut through that grass so you don't get bogged down in there. But everything is the same setup. Uh, I went in too deep with that one.
try this thing here. It's a ah, swim bait. Let's see. Sorry about that. And yes, that is the uh, theme music from the movie Top Gun. I am a Top Gun fan. So. Oh, this lure runs pretty good actually oh i see i got the attention of some little fish i will say i like that bright green color because it allows me to see it in the water so whenever i do get a bite i'll be able to see it Like, look at that action right there, y'all. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that action is just awesome. And it looks like a bluegill, so. That might have been a turtle. There are a lot of turtles in this water. You'll hear them splashing and stuff, and it'll sound like a fish jumping or busting on the surface. Didn't want to do that. This lure here has lots and lots of great action. Uh, a lot of swimming action in it, too. And as you can see, it is a um, subsurface lure. It doesn't go down that deep. Um, I don't know if that's because I'm not cranking fast enough. It's got those propellers on the back, so that's churning and kicking some water. But then it does have that lip to get it to go to dive down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I still say a subsurface lure. It's just right underneath the surface, so. 
But yeah, it's a subsurface lure. Uh, you can crank it slow, crank it fast. Ah, not where I wanted that to go. Wasn't as good a cast as I was hoping for. And then throw a backlash in this one. Come on. All right. Got that one out. Okay, so now we done made our way back around to some other grass. So, we're going to pick up our flipping stick again. And we're going to flip that Tokyo rig some more. I do have some other lures that I want to show you guys, so... That water's come down so low you can see the bottom where the dock is built over here. The pontoon is actually sitting on the ground. That's that's low.
This is the Monster Bass Seeker, I believe it's Seeker 12. This isn't good. I've thrown a big one in there. I've got it tangled up pretty good. Yep. Alright, that's going to be the end of the seeker.
Alright, that's the end of that lure there. I've got it so tangled up. Now, last lure that we got is a Buckeyes football jig. I believe it's green pump in color. So, either one of these will work. I'm going to uh, trail it with a Yamamoto flapping hog. I'm going to assume that was a turtle. Now, normally with a football jig, you'd want to cast it out somewhere and then drag it along the bottom. So, and normally with football jigs, you're always thinking out deep, you know, deep fishing with these. But, you know, crankbait, or not crankbait, but football head jig, you know, it's pretty much like a, um, Carolina. Uh, I like to throw it out, take up my slack, and then drag it to the side. That way you're keeping it on the bottom. Like right now, I'm not feeling any kind of bumps. So this bottom is probably really soft, probably some grass. Clouds are looking a little gray up there. Mm. The wind is steady picking up on me. Let me see something real quick. I'm going to check my weather. Right, guys it is the end of the day it sounds like I've got a storm coming in so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here get this thing back on the trailer and head to the house uh, thanks for watching you guys thanks for subscribing to the channel helping me grow uh, I hope that you all are learning something from me on these videos uh, the link for monster bands will be down in the description uh, click on that link get you a monthly subscription of monster bass uh, you get a box sent to your door every month with brand new baits uh, it's also based on the region that you live in so you're not getting baits that's gonna be optimal for fishing in California or up north you're gonna get baits that is going to be optimal for the fishing conditions and locations where you live so that's one of the biggest pluses about monster bass is the way it's set up but I'm gonna get out of here before this storm comes in and dump on me again guys if you like the video smash that uh, thumbs up button uh, leave comments share the video and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that bell so you get notified anytime I put out one of my fishing videos a uh, bait review video or my tactical shooting videos um, I don't post a whole lot of videos on my weightlifting if you guys don't know I with my job in law enforcement I try to stay on top of my health and my fitness and I, I don't do a lot of fitness videos just because it's hard to film that stuff in the gym but I do post a lot of that stuff on my Facebook and Instagram so you can jump over there and check out some of my stuff also I will leave the link for the uh, supplement company Bucked Up that I've been working it with um, they have a lot of great stuff not just for weightlifting and bodybuilding and stuff like that they have a lot of great supplements for just taking care of your body and your overall health so check them out as well. I'm going to get out of here before this storm comes in. Again, appreciate you guys for uh, 
watching the videos and subscribing to the channel and hopefully i see you guys again with better weather but you guys be safe out there uh, if you're in the central area be checking out the game and fish uh website i'm hoping to get some dates freed up so i can do my boater's ed and hunter's ed classes so be looking out for that guys if you're in the central area or not even just central area but if you're in the area of arkansas and getting to the central area is easy for you so uh, be on the lookout for that but i'm gonna get out of here uh again thanks for watching and see you guys next time in the great outdoors